During the 1960s, the best-selling artist in the world was called Keen. You'd know those pictures as soon as you see them. Haunted looking children with these enormous huge eyes that were just reproduced on posters across America and around the world. Everyone thought the artist was Walter Keane, but it turned out it was actually his wife, Margaret, and he'd just lied about it for years. Now, this is an interesting story. If I read about it in a magazine, I would think, hmm, interesting story. Look at the pictures and then I would just move on. There's not really enough there for a movie, at least not in the hands of surprising choice of director, Tim Burton. I mean, he's good on visuals, we know that. So he's good on the California in the 60s, all pastels and pools, but there were bad decisions made here. Christoph Waltz as Walter Keane, apart from the fact that he's playing a different nationality that's never referred to, is playing it much too larky. It's like the whole thing is a scam and a joke. And actually, this is a man who subjugated his wife, who told lies and put her under intense mental pressure. It's not a nice story at all, and Christoph Waltz plays it all wrong. Amy Adams brings fragility and she's excellent as always, but it's not enough to save this movie. There's just nothing really there.